That was weird. Really? It's not going to play its sound when I'm alt-tabbed? Alright. Oh. Mm. There we go, borderless window, it's like an alt tab. Hi SL, how's the volume? Okay, now it's really quiet, but... <laughs> Better be pro gameplay only. I don't know if it'll be pro gameplay. Good old wretch starting play. Starting class. Give a pastor looks cool. Sword and a shield, and I'm assuming they've got some magic. respect later yeah of course that's always the that's always the uh the the benefit to starting as the 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 the, ne the naked guy in dark souls uh. no no there we go Whoa. <sighs> Literally the only thing I care about is changing the color of the hair. Give me something anime. Blue. Blue. No, I... Alright, well... Or purple. Yeah. No! Alright. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. That's all I care about. 
I'm not one of the people that spends 16 hours changing every little fucking hair on their dick because it's like, you're not going to see them. And I have any multiplayer through this playthrough, I'd like to join at some point. I don't even know how to do multiplayer. Um, I've literally never played, if you haven't noticed by the title. Um, I'm not against it, but like, uh, I guess I do want to like make sure I, like I... This is my per this is my first playthrough and I don't want someone who knows what they're doing to just run around and cheese all the bosses for me, you know? Like I wanna experience the game. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? No, of like one boss cheese. Yeah, but I'm talking about how the fact that you'll be much higher level than me on your character. So like, b existing you'll be cheesing the bosses. Come on, give me the crazy intro cutscene that lists off all of my enemies. Come on, I know you wanted Dark Souls. I know what you do. Oh yeah, wow. I, I, what a surprise. Lamau, you thought I'd bring an existing character. Fair enough. Elden Ring was shattered. <gasps> In our home, across the fog, the land. Is nowhere to be found. Oh no! And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. No, not Godwin! Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden. Uh, hard to tell if that's good or bad. The mad taint of their newfound okay, it's bad. Triggered the shattering. That's there. Yeah, okay, that sounds bad. A war from which no lord arose. Hey, it's Sephiroth. A war. Never mind that one, Sephiroth. To abandonment by the greater will. Oh, <laughs> rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead, who yet live. Oh, the call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Or alone, chieftain of the Badlands. That's a guy we have to fight. The ever brilliant gold mask. That's probably a guy we have to fight. Fear, the deathbed companion. That's probably a guy we have to fight. The loathsome dung eater. That's probably a guy we have to fight. And Sir Gideon Ogmir, the all-knowing... That's probably a guy we have to fight. See, Dark Souls knows how to make exactly one intro cutscene. From Soft, I guess, I should say. Knows how to make exactly one intro cutscene. And one other... Whom Grace would again... Us. A tarnished of no renown. Yeah, there it is. Someone cutscene starts calling us worthless now. Cross the fog to the lands between. To 
stand before the Elden Ring. God, you ain't shitter, Reaper. The Elden Lord. Uh, I bet the ending is we can, like, become the Elden Lord, or we can not do that, just like all the other endings where we can either choose to continue the thing or not continue the thing. Oh, okay. Okay. This game has five different endings. Hmm. Yeah. One of two option le optional le levels on the ending, Tron 5000. Why can't I attack with R1? What is going on? Is R1 not attack? Because L1 is to use this. Hmm. Yeah. Why is not attack? Because the button is working. I don't know. Like, I, so I'm pressing R1. I assume R1 is to do the light swing, right? Like, you know, the... You're you fucking... You know, the Dark Souls meme. R1 spin, right? Just like L1 holds this up and L2 does the special and R2 does the special. R1 is not... I'm not attacking. No, R2 is the heavy. This is the heavy. R1 should be the light attack. And even if R1 is the heavy, then I it shouldn't be happening now when I'm pressing. I don't know what's going on. I can't swing. We should have a running counter for how many times I'm going to walk up to something and then instead of, like, interacting with it, I just jump because I'm so used to Dark Souls having the interact button on X. I bet they'll, like, that is going to happen so many fucking times. Had a similar glitch. Should fix itself soon. I'm not falling for that. Um, camera is a little fast. And that's a little slow. Alright. Yeah, alright. It should fix itself soon. Well, I don't love that I'm getting a glitch in the first uh, 30 seconds of the game. If I'm being honest, let's see if uh, quitting the game and reloading the save uh, fixes it. The messages in this game are notorious liars. The messages in most Dark Souls games are notorious liars, let's be honest. Maybelline. Oh, that's Fee. That's right. Fee played the fuck out of this on my computer. I know Lady Maybelline. That's their fucking D and D character. <laughs> Horseback Paladin. I 
I think, was she a paladin? I don't know. If he sh sh turns up, I can, you know, always ask him. Yeah, see, as it's loading in, it does like a... a swing. Did you notice that? Oh, it's fixed. Okay. Okay. Don't care anymore. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Praise the message and then behold, secret! Lies. Fair enough. Oh, you can crouch now. Ooh. Can I... Has this game evolved? Have Dark Souls evolved yet so that I can hide my helmet without getting rid of it? Have we evolved that far? Yes. Oh, wait. Shit. It's a- it's a mod that you have, I'm guessing. Because this game being on PC is going to be modded to fuck. I know that much. You don't really use much mods? Well then... How do? Because I can just take it off. But obviously... I mean, I'm still going to take it off. Because, you know, Dark Souls... The, def the, the defense bonus of the helmet is, is extremely negligible in almost all accounts. And I just prefer seeing my hair. I'm thinking of something else. Jump. No god ahead. Oh. Didn't expect dead end. Someone put a message up there, I wonder. Probably... Uh, no. Nah. So, saying I've never played it before is slightly untrue. I've done, like, the first 15 minutes uh, before, where I've, like, because I know there's going to be, like, a boss here, and then he kills you and then pops you in the tutorial dungeon. And I've done the tutorial dungeon. And then, like, that's it. Just win the fight, bro. I'd love to try. Oh. Scream. No. Oh! Oh, okay. I was confused because I didn't literally go down, but... I'm sure in classic Dark Souls fashion we'll get to go back there. Maybe very soon. Who knows? Just win the fight, bro.
kind of builds to your favor. Um, it's honestly kind of everything is viable in Elden Ring. Yeah, that's something I've already noticed, like, watching other people do videos. Because, like, I, I, uh, like, you know, being that Dark Souls 2 is my favorite and seeing what they what they did to all the magic in Dark Souls 2, I'm obviously not much of a magic player, but I want to be, you know? Um, uh, it'd be like, uh, it's... In Dark Souls 2, it was mostly uh, just blunt weapons. I, I like started with the mace and rocked for that for pretty much almost the whole game. Um, Bros. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on her side. We found her here after all. One of her kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Um, and then in Bloodborne, obviously, there's literally, like, it's just about the weapon that you like, because Bloodborne doesn't really have magic. <laughs> and I just use the, uh, Ludwig's Greatsword. You can get almost every weapon to one upgrade off max of one playthrough, so you can swap a lot if you want to. I'm assuming because everything can drop except for the... Uh, forgive me for the Dark Souls comparison. The chunk, right? Like, so, like, you could just farm the drops off of... yeah. <gasps> Alright, I will do the tutorial. It's probably a good idea. Blug. No skeleton ahead. Oh boy, okay. Yeah. Resting in the side of grace will store your HP, foot, and all right. So it's bonfires. Yep. Hey, look, I jumped. In. <laughs> Wait. Bonfire discovered. Yeah. Last time. Ah, oh, I'm in this game. No. Uh, allocate. Uh, actually, I do have magic, so I'll keep it like that. You'll get used to the controls eventually, Dad. <laughs> I am, might consider swapping jump and interact between triangle and X, though. Triangle is a weird button to have jump on, though, as well. But, like, interact is a weird... Triangle is a weird button to have interact on. Get fucked on. Memorize sorceries and incantations. Uh, da, da. Yep. Just normal Dark Souls fair. Yep. Yep. Normal Dark Souls fair. Yump. Oh, 
collecting stuff. By the way, jump attacks are pretty good. Fruits and flowers, mushrooms and butterflies, and various other things. Yeah, crafting. Ah! Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna try it. Just to see what it's like. Triangle on jump isn't actually so bad. Yo! Yeah, I've I've heard the story about jump attacks in this game. A plus that. Ah, okay. So because triangle is occupied, uh, you have to have a new button combination to two-hand things. That makes sense. <laughs> okay, momentum matters. Understand. I'm gonna teach us about backstabs because he's facing away. Oh no, it's just teaches about switching. He's not facing away. I'm just blind. What does this person have to say? I just pressed try! Alright, well. Praise the message, and then behold, something incredible. Fuck you. Downvoting bait messages is always good. Armament have special abilities called skills. Skills are highly varied. Temporary effects using skills requires foot. <laughs> what they call a god? I don't know if you've heard. Yeah. I didn't grass. I didn't grass. Sword in butt. <laughs> Visions of God. All right. Yeah, so the jumping attack, or, or that will break, yeah. Good work, me. Me. Stat, stakes of America. Oh, okay. 
So they're like, they give me the checkpoint of a bonfire, but not any of the other, uh, not any of the other benefits of the bonfire. Yeah, I know, Asil. I did one earlier. Piss mist! <gasps> da 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 da. Oh. We love piss. Asil, I know. Okay. Ah, oh, the delay! Get the fuck out of here. Bitch. Bitch. Oh, because I can crap. I can do it. <laughs> I like that. I like the. There's a parry system now for when you actually got an attack. That's something that I think Dark Souls has kind of been missing. Because, like, doing this is cooler, but it's, like, really hard. But, like, doing this and then that is, like... It's not very hard, but it's still, like, cool. Strength! Oh, it's an emote. Okay. God counters are really good, too. And then that's just where I was, right? Yep. And then I open the door, I get the big open world, and this is where I stopped my last save. Oh. Oh, it's like through there then. Maybe. I know I didn't spend much more time in here. Did I forget to pick like a... Another fucking ad. Don't complain, you're giving me AdSense money. Yeah, give me that money. I think I forgot to pick uh, my gift, and I know one of them is the this. Yeah, and I don't have one. Alright. Oh well. I'm sure there'll be more than enough of them in the world. It's a big world, however, after all. Yeah. Yeah, through here. Safety. Oh, safety. Yep. And then I, like, went to this gray spot. And, like, that's it. I... Uh, I didn't really ever play after this. Because I was like... Like, I looked at this, and I was like, oh... I was immediately overwhelmed. The fact that you have fast travel that was really cool. This is new. I don't remember this one. Oh, the starting map is only like one seventh or so? Jesus Christ. You're kidding me.
Yeah, this game is fucking huge. Doesn't it have like 150 bosses? A lot of instances of boss being reused, but yeah. 160 something. Jeez. Yeah. Fuck you! Give me them bones. Yeah, this is immediately very overwhelming. It's why I struggle with open world games. But, uh... Yep. Talk to me. Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. <laughs> Without guidance without the strength of runes and without an invitation to the round table hold you are fated it seems to die in obscurity Asilla maidenless can I uh, is there a way to fucking cap the FPS cause like I can set quality settings but like I don't see one specifically for frames per second and whenever my... No bitches. Yeah. And whenever uh, my VTuber is like lagging like this, it's always like my first go-to to like help the quality. I think you'd set that from the main menu. I had a look at the settings from the main menu, it was the same settings. Like, nothing changed. Yeah, so... Shrug emoji. Yeah. It might be like a uh, Steam launching setting, like I could probably launch uh, the game through Steam with like a, like a graphics editor thing. Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless. Mm-hmm. Me. Vare. Mm-hmm. Take care to listen. Are you familiar? with grace the golden light that gives life to you tarnished you may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times that is the guidance of grace the path that a tarnished must travel hmm indeed grace's guidance holds the answers 
it will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Grace's mom is got it going on. All right. Grace's guidance to Castle Stormvale, the home of the decrepit demigod Godric. All right, well, I suppose I gotta go that keep. Eh. I'm probably gonna avoid that big guy. Roly poly sheep! Holy poly sheep. It's raining. So the, the Elden Ring has like full weather and uh, effects and, and day effects. Like it has like time of day passing and, and weather. That's cool as fuck. I suppose it makes more sense. It's an open world. Uh, yeah, so this is where I can make my shit stronger. Yep. You're the first shop, you're dressed like Santa Claus? Excuse me? You're a tarnished. I can see it. And I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? Everything is weaker than lightning while it's raining. That's great! <laughs> Cookbooks. Oh. Notes. Telescope. A crafting kit and a cracked pot. Those seem useful. I am of a nomadic people, selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished, like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. It is? Alright, I'll grab it then. Goodbye. Oh, I damn it. Alright, well. Fair enough. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah. What is it? Goodbye for now. Let's touch this. Yep. Suppose that's where the next one is. Makes MP fairly convenient. Okay.
Mushroom. Hey, look, th there it is. Sheep. That sheep didn't have any burns. What a wild sheep. You monster. Nom, nom. That one dropped five. Okay. Nice. Stabby, stabby! All these plants respawn. Yeah, that makes sense to me. This is just, uh, you know... Mo this is just open world flowers and shit, right? Like, in Skyrim and shit. I can see the side of grace that it wants me to go to, so I'll walk around this big encampment that's clearly full of enemies, uh, and just go straight to the side of grace. Yeah, right. I suppose I could test it right here. Oh? I didn't get put into the men- the menu. Is there a cutscene? There's a cutscene! Ah, oh, hello. Greetings. Traveller from beyond the fog. I am Melina. You mean the Emerald Herald? You mean the fireplace keeper? The bitch is plus one. I offer you an accord. She's pretty. Uh, uh, pretty lame. Uh, I'm kidding. They serve the two fingers, offering guidance and aid to the tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. <laughs> everyone stop saying that to me. I can play the role of maiden. Okay, I'm no longer maidenless. Turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Then it's settled. What if I refuse? Me by grace to turn runes into strength. This feels like one of those I could play without after killing the Emerald Herald thing. Use it to traverse great distances. If you refuse, then your game bricks instantly. What is that? What actually happens? Named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Fair enough. So you I turn your runes to strength? Literally Let impossible to finish the game if you say no. Right, but then Share them with me. Your thoughts. Not even with bugs. Oh, I don't have enough. The... Right, but I, what I mean is like
like what happens mechanically speaking because it's an option clearly It's a fate choice. Either you say yes or you need to make a new save because she leaves and never shows up again. That seems really hard to believe. Is that true? All right, that's a, I like that com combination. Yeah? You can just brick your save file. Like, you said you could brick your game, and I was like, yeah, okay. all right, a sill. That's actually just what happens. You just brick the game. I love the horse immediately, by the way. Double jump on the horse. Can I attack? I can. And then swinging on that side, yeah. Some Dynasty Warriors shit. Oh, hell yeah. And then can it sprint? Yes, it can. Can it crouch? No, but that's how I get off of it. Okay. Oh, these? Okay. There's a couple here, isn't there? There's like one at the back there and one here. Okay. Well, I've just touched this point of grace, and yeah, you were right, uh, the, the flower did literally immediately come back, this one. Um. Flying creature. Uh, I suppose I could try and take on this encampment. Like, f to what end, I don't know, but you know. Open world game, just do what I want, right? Play game, have fun. So when you see them, you associate them with sick loot. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So these are like a common structure in the world. Stabby, stabby! It didn't do it! No, you don't. I didn't have to before. Lost Warns Greats. Ah, Greatsword. I did not have the ability to wield it yet, but can I two-hand it and wield it? Yes, I can! I can two-hand this motherfucker. I kind of love that you could, like, approach Dark Souls with stealth now. That's actually so fucking cool. Like, that's never been done in the other Dark Souls. Well, I guess actually Sekiro, right? Because isn't that the point of Sekiro? I'm a sneaky boy. Ah! Never scared. It was all planned. Sword up the butt! A flail? Wait, like with a chain? Oh my god, with a chain! The, 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 the fucking let it die flail. I can't even use it with two hands though.
This is gorgeous, by the way. This is absolutely fucking gorgeous at the night. I, wow. Like, so, Dark Souls typically looks gross. <laughs> There's, like, a couple of areas that have, like, these really nice visual vistas, like, uh, the shrine that everyone hates in Dark Souls 2 that has all the enemies that throw projectiles constantly. Uh, that place fucking sucks, but it looks gorgeous, right? But, like, the majority of Dark Souls 2 is poop. Poop looking. You didn't see me. But this game is just fucking beautiful. Yeah, those are enemies as well, technically. Dog. Dog, dog, dog. I saw the dog. Yep, there's a dog. I feel like I'm about to make a really big mistake by doing this. You didn't see anything. <laughs> Must have been the wind. Are you serious? All right, well. Huh. Must have been the wind. <laughs> Alright, don't get greedy. I've attracted a lot of them now. Ow. Oh, you've got big. Okay. You've got big energy. Yeah, I wanted to get rid of you first. Okay. You know what I should try and do? Get rid of that first. Oh! Okay, that's fair. Whoa! Okay, well... Okay. When he does, like, multiple attacks like that, he does make it hard to... Ooh! No death for me today! Oh, that's death for me today. Those little fuckers. I didn't even die to the spear guy, though! No death for me today, immediately proven wrong. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, okay. Let's go get our ship back. Beep. 
Nom. Ooh, I targeted an enemy very far away. Oh, that's right, because I can't effectively use this weapon with one hand. Yeah, right. Oh, you know what? I can do both. Right? Yeah. Unless there's like a weight system. There probably... Yeah, there is. Can I see my total weight? Where do I see that? Equip load, heavy load, medium load. Yeah, okay. No thanks. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Definitely never want to be heavy load. Yeah, I know. Typical Dark Souls fair. I hear like dun 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 music. As if I'd done something wrong. What are you? I like how I was like, what are you? And the game was like, here you go. <laughs> the horse combat actually feels really good though. Yeah, I see all these are back now as well. Gotta get all them crafting materials. Oh, this is a game I could turn my brain off to play with all this just running around, picking up stuff and killing random enemies. Oh. That looks dangerous. Well, we're down here now. Let's see how dangerous it actually is. Okay. Be wary of bug. Be wary of poison. Okay, I guess they could poison me. Theoretically.
I think the only thing that I would like is, uh, uh this is, uh, something that Forspoken, uh, did, is, uh, an accessibility feature, where if you're, like, close enough to press X to pick something up, you just pick it up. If I'm being honest, I would really like that. Forspoken did that, it's, like, the only game that's ever done that accessibility feature, and ever since it's done it, I think every game that doesn't have it is inferior because of it. There's a mod for that. I would not be against running a mod for that. Like, you still have to be close enough just to even pick it up. Like, it's not like I want to scoop up all the drops in the whole fucking world, obviously. But, like, here. Like, I, like, it seems silly, but I don't want to have to pick X up, to pick X to pick this up. Because I'll be doing that a billion times a second for a 300 hour playthrough, you know what I mean? Go back to the encampment you cleared. You missed a thing. I didn't clear it, but, you know. This one? It's probably better if I have a shield out, honestly. Find it. There's a thing you, in the middle you want to have for sure. Yeah, but I don't want. I'm gonna get killed it by the, the big guy. So I'm gonna have to, like, slowly sneak around and kill everything. I don't think I have to sneak, though. I think I can just. These guys are kind of pushovers. giving little bits of guidance here and there like that. Uh, yeah. Okay, you have to be close for that to actually hit. Yeah, see, there he is. See, I just want to take out all these guys before I even try to hit the... try to go for the really big guy. You know? Oh, you know what? Knives! I could craft a bunch of those. The, those are good for, like, luring, right? I could, like, lure a motherfucker away from the group with these, right? Like, I yeet a knife at him and he'll be like, Ooh. Why not? That's like the point, right? Let's try it. Because that seems to be like... Uh... That's a guy that needs to go down immediately. He has a horn, and I know enough, of, enough about army encampments to know that he would get everyone's attention. That's a cool mechanic, though, that I haven't seen in, in the Dark Souls game. Is a guy that able to get everyone else's attention? Well, actually, no, that's kind of existed in some areas in Dark Souls. Ah! You scared me. I should probably use my healing spell outside of combat instead of my runes. Uh, because, uh, but instead of my flask, because of how slow it is, so I can maintain the flask for in combat. He scared me! Sorry. 
Sword up the butt. Come on then. Come on. Come on. Come pick a fight with me. It'll go well for you, I'm, I'm sure. Dumbass. These dudes can drop the level 1 shards, but the drop rate isn't good. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have gotten lucky with that. I, like, greeted and the game was like, alright, you can have this one. <laughs> alright, are there any others left? Other than the big guy? Yes, there are a couple. I'm assuming that uh, tunnel that I just found is probably what you're saying I want. Uh-oh. Alright, well. Alright, buddy. Spear. You hit me with the spear. Alright. Hey, round three. I want to make sure I don't alert the guy with the horn. Sparkly. You want tips for fighting certain enemies and you want to figure it out. It's, I don't think I need any tips, I just need to fucking get good. <laughs> See? I just get good. He might be right. Can enemies have my souls in this game like they can in uh, Bloodborne? Or are they always on a little puddle? Yes, I know, not souls. I don't care. Ow. Yeah, you know what? I don't recall I mostly died to bosses. Oh! 
Vamos! Rune's always full on the ground. Hey, Fee, your, uh, your character is still on here. What's your other spell? Assassin's Approach. Probably makes me quiet. Ooh. Yeah? You got a what? Okay. Okay. What the fuck, why have I never used that? It didn't last for too long. Whetstone knife, you can use ashes of war to grant your armaments new skills. Okay. Affinities. Alright, I don't know what the skill thing is, but I'm assuming Affinities is like that whole Dark Souls 2 thing where you can make it magic, or you can make it dull, or you can make it sharp or heavy or whatever that kind of shit is, so that it slightly changes the scaling of the weapon. Is it- is that the- is that what the Affinity is? Yeah. But I don't know what the skill thing is. I did not understand that. Okay. I'm gonna go for him. That's good damage. All right. No, I like it sw swapping. Come on, then. Come over here and fight me. That guy is blind. He's blind. Literally zero reason to do that, though. You're supposed to be the lookout! You've got the horn! Ow. Oh. Yeah, this is not- this is- this is- oh no. I see what you mean by it's just a seventh. There's more road. There's like lots of places to go. Oh no, a cell. I'm getting overwhelmed again. Ah! <laughs> I can't look at the map. I can't do that to myself. direction and go, my dude. Is 
Well... Here is like a game of a thousand side quests. Shouldn't I go in there? Because golden light is pointing me in that direction? Or am I really truly free to go in whatever direction I want? Sure, why not? Oh wait, because I'm sure you said that before I said the second half of the question. You can go wherever the hell you want. Yeah, there's like lots of really interesting map like looking vistas. Why is there a barrel out there? <laughs> that looks like a telescope. I want to see what that is. spot areas. I'm not sure what you mean by those. Oh, like this? I could put markers, right? Yeah. Oh my god, and they like beacons. <laughs> I did the double jump! Come on! Alright, well. I did the double jump! Does that mean nothing? Doesn't cancel fall damage in this game. Alright. It's a bad game. 0 out of 10. How hard is it to mod this game? Not at all. Because I kind of want to get that and pick up shit as you pass it mod. If I'm being honest. And I might as well get it sooner rather than later, you know? I'm assuming it's not in R2 mark now. Because it's probably not a game that can be modded that simply. <laughs> be right back. It'd be insane if it was. Oh, cool. Uh, you can still see me, right? You can still hear me?
Good to hear. Yeah. Um, RBS just crashed. <laughs> Apparently. Install Elden Ring mod loader and put this mod into the in and the any file in the mods folder. That seems very simple. I'm looking. Well, I'm looking at yeah. I'm looking at Ud Tools. Ud Tools CPP. Oh, but I've got to disable the anti-cheat as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, the it seems like uh, Ud Tools does a few different things, like being able to open and map and craft in combat and being able to see the poise meter on bosses and enemies and uh, stuff like that. Uh, but... I, that all just seems like quality of life that probably should just be in the base game anyway. Um, being able to scroll through the map quicker, you know. Uh. <laughs> Uh, Alright, manual download the anti cheat toggle. Manual download Elden Mod Launch Loader. And manual download. Uh, Erd Tools. Oh, I've got to be logged in to download. Oh, log in. How dare you. Validate my email? I've downloaded stuff from you before. Bitch.
Whenever shit's being annoying, to make myself feel less annoyed, I just sing a random theme from Kirby. Because you can't be angry while Kirby's music is playing in your head. You just can't. You know? Alright, toggle anti-cheat, how do I do it? Place the contents inside the game folder, so... Extract to this. Uh, put those in... Elden Ring slash game slash... Uh, toggle anti-cheat. Anti-cheat disabled. And then I could do it again. Yeah. Awesome. Um, and then mod loader. How do I install that? Oh, okay. You literally just fucking throw it in there. Gonna leave the stream running? That's alright. Is it really that fucking easy? Whoa. All right. Probably going to take a hot minute to launch. Ba <laughs> ba Inappropriate. Inappropriate activity detected. Blum blum.
Let's test this out. Someone drop something. It's a little far. I don't know about that one, Chief. Let's uh, see if I can change the config for that. That's a little too wide for my taste. I'm going to like pick up stuff I'm not seeing that way. Get rid of that. Nah, it's fine, actually. <laughs> the greatest enemy. 
pink. Dragon. Surprise! Hey, Kasim. Whoa. Black attack? A raid? KSM, did you get one of your streamer friends to raid me? Elevator. Whoa! Thank you for the follow, Diamond Block. Indeed he did. Well, thanks for coming around. I'm Aretha. I'm a variety streamer. I've been playing a lot of uh, Lethal Company recently. Uh, I also play a lot of uh, like long form RPGs. I've just started playing Elden Ring. Uh, ow! Ow! Okay. These guys are made of sterner stuff. Uh, and thank you for the follow... The Wolf? The Wolf. Ow. Okay. These guys are... Kinda hit pretty hard. I wonder if I should even be here at the moment. I'm like doing nothing to them. The yellow dog is a bot in the lock tongue. Pickaxe boy is scary. I am not a bottom. Ah, he throws something. Oh, it's just a rock. Well. I've rolled down here now. You. They get the rock thrown, bitch. Momentum. Ow! He punched me. Something tells me I don't want to be here. Yeah, like I'm like ramming my blade uh, into them and it's like bouncing off of them. Why did it still tell me to go in here? Ow! You're a dumbass. Ow. Ow.
can't believe Vasil told me to go in there. Why would she do this? I'm gonna get my shit and get out. I can't live in here. This is too hard. Or what if... I took this and uh, two hands of that. Ah! What were you streaming, uh, Click? That's better. Oh, okay. This weapon actually stuns them. Ah! Yeah, okay. Great sword. Great sword stuns them. This will be fine then. Oh wow, that was... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I can totally survive it here then. I don't get like an underground map, do I? Bigger weapon is the best philosophy, I agree. Oh, this goes even further down. I don't want to do that yet. If Sil comes back, I'm gonna yell at her. For sending me down here. Hey, diamond block. It's dark! Uh, typical Dark Souls fair. very dark in here. Do I have, like, a torch? I don't. No. Can I have something to eat? You may rely on it. Alright, let's go down further. <laughs> Would you look at that? It works perfectly. got fucking gangbanged in the corner. And like, not in the good way. Hey, yo! <laughs> Phrasing. No, it was very intentional. Sort up the butt. Is 
sword up the butt. <laughs> you gotta love the sword up the butt. Alright, we gotta go down the elevator. Gotta rescue my souls? My s grace? My salt? My blood? Gotta rescue something. Send the elevator back up. Because I'm bound to die again. Okay. What did we learn from last time? We learned that there's a dogger there. And then we can sneak up on him. Or we could just... Not do the back attack, that's fine. Didn't even need the back attack. Yeah. Wait, is that it? Have I explored everything? I suppose I have. All right. Have I explored everything? Almost never in this game. Hello, Spyro the Hedgehog. Whoa, Spyro the Hedge. That's a mix of cultures. But thank you for the follow. Fuck your cart. Fucking. Right, I don't need to do this anymore. Actually, I could just travel out, right? Ah. Oh. oh, okay. That's... We were PV player in the the Souls, the Souls days? I was for Bloodborne. I was, uh, I was big into PvP for Bloodborne. Um, but, uh, I joined the Dark Souls, like, games, like, too late, it generally to be uh able to join in the pvp for like them like they they sort of, they'd sort of died by then um i want to go to the telescope oh yeah that dragon got me a death. Look at him. He's so big. OMG. Dragon Kun. Senpai. Notice me. Ow. You. OMG. Blushes. Alright, I'm done. <laughs> No, I didn't actually mean for it to notice me!
What? Who's talking? Is it? Huh. Dragon. Oh, this is cool, actually. Oh, that's, like, really cool. The god rays coming through the... Oh, hell yeah. Who's, this? Who's talking? You? Yeah, you there. Stop pretending you can't see me. I literally- I literally can't, bruv! Where is it? What? Who? I want to! I want to help! I want to talk to you! Hopefully that wasn't you! Oi. You! You there! Could you help us out, Cully? I'm going mad. Who? Where? Yeah, you there. Stop pretending you can't see me. If anyone has any insight. Why won't anyone look me in the eye? I'm, I'm not that ugly, am I? What'd you go and do that for? Ah. Oh. oh yes, I remember. Some clod turned me into a tree. You were just breaking the spell, weren't you? Thank you. The name's Bok. I was pushed out of the cave. Told not to come back. Not ever. Then I ended up as a tree. <laughs> Lucky you came along, really. Okay. Oh. What a shame. When they threw me out of the cave, they took everything I owned, and so this is all I have to express my thanks. I hope you can forgive me. Mushroom! Or, or if you can afford to wait for a while, I could sneak back into the cave and bring back something of actual value. Then I'd be of some real use to you, I reckon. Right. But, uh, oh, I'm... I'm frightened. My knees start knocking. Just thinking about that god awful cave on the shore. Okay. Seems like I don't have the choice of, a choice in the matter anyway. Um. Demi human, Buck. All right. I found him. Boy, you there, bruv. I don't know why I keep on thinking sprinters on R2. Time to die! Oh, they're like running away actually. And now I feel bad. I mean, like, not that bad, but like, I feel bad. This game is like... 
this is interesting because like i go to dark souls normally for like the harrowing challenging experience and this game has that obviously but it also has like the the relaxing like slow drawl of the the world exploration you know and it's it's kind of hard to to wrap my head around it being both. But it works really well. I was trying to back attack him. Oh, well, down I go. so you're back thanks for sending me into that minor cell i'm really glad that i went in there you bitch what happened in the mine it was just full of enemies that my sword like bounced off of because they were like made of rock so i'm angry at you But the mods work. See, I'm just picking up shit as I fly past it now. Use charge attacks, you dingus. It didn't work. I switched to the greatsword. Yeah, my, my charge attacks with this sword still bounced off of them. Sword weak AF. Yeah, it is. Oh, you can move and heal on, on the horse. Oh my god. Can you cast spells? No. Depends on the spell. Oh, okay. I assume golden runes are the consumable thing that gives me more runes. Like, you know, the little soul stones in Dark Souls. These fuckers got me last time. Right, limited range. Oh, he can do it too! Sorry. 
Circle strats. Circle strats. I gotta hit these, right? Get their little goodies. Yeah. Oh, that actually dealt damage. Yeah, I'll just do that. Okay. Three, and then he does a fourth. Oh, but that- Oh, he does more than four! He does more than four! So today I learned that he does more than four. Consumables are a real build? Really? Oh, that's actually really cool. That's like never been a thing in Dark Souls. Let me Skyrim my way up this hill. They can unironically put out some huge. Is that a person doing that? Get fucked. Is that a person doing this? Whoa, what the fuck? What's the lightning? This is just an area where there's a lot of lightning for no reason. Where Folger blew- well yeah, okay, Folger means lightning. That makes sense to me. And then there's this! Some miniature fucking tornado. I see. So use those, but angle it towards the cliff. Oh, you can, like, move, move while doing that. Uh, I'm in a place where I shouldn't be. I'm just gonna go back to here. I've decided that's a place where I shouldn't be. I am, how you say, a pussy. What if I told you they were friendly? Uh, I wouldn't believe you.
Not for a fucking second. This way's tarnished. May I have a word? Huh? A pleasure to meet thee, tarnished. I am the witch Rena. I'd heard tell of a tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed, and upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Thou art possessed of a power, no? To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. Yeah? Ah, as I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee by Torrent's former master. Spirit calling bell. Is a bell of calling forth spirits. But I, you know, summon them with it from ash and return to the earth tree. The spirits will obey thine command but briefly as they recall battles past. Now it is thine to do with as thou wishest. Hmm. What does it mean? Oh, I know what this is. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've seen clips of this kind of shit. You can summon these, like, fucking... You probably can't do it too close to safe areas. Are these, like, ghostly allies, and there's, like, a huge amount of different ones. all the same. Learn well the lands between. How long will it be, I wonder, before the tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers? Uh, can someone look up the word obeisance? Because <laughs> I'd like to know what she she's saying. But yeah, I've seen this. You, like, use them to... Like, yeah, like, little ghostly allies. And, like, there's, like, loads and loads of different types, apparently. Anyway, I actually went back to that to, to buy. Oh, well, you know what? Actually, I can level up now because I have a, I have a bitch. I have, I have plus one bitches. So I shouldn't spend it on just buying stuff. So it says that the previous skill will be lost, right? So this shield, uh, this shield has like parry as its skill, right? And like I could, if I had a ash for shield skills, I could give it like a new skill. Would I be able to give it back parry without a special ash, or would I need to find an ash that gives the skill parry to give it back? Or like maybe buy or find a new copy of the shield to get back the the default skill. If you take off the skill, it returns. To okay, that's really nice then. Oh, and it changes the stats of the weapon. That changes... That changes the stats of the weapon. 
Yeah, the Ash of War system has like zero downsides. Am I reading this right? Like putting, if I was to put Storm Stomp on this, you don't need to let it change to the stats. Ah. Can I just change the affinity without putting a, 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 a skill on? Or do I have to... Nope. Okay. Okay, that's really fucking cool. But, like, I could put this on and even change the quality. And then I could take it off and the quality would return back to standard and I'd get my standard ability square off back. Like, I would just completely reset the process. That's... that's so fucking cool! That's so customizable! This tiny golden aura is the grace of the Earth Tree. This light once shone in the eyes of your tarnished brethren. But now, it is all that guides you. Or so I hear. You can see them, can't you? The rays of grace that guide you through your burden. Upon the cliff in Castle... You are briefly freed from mute jail to be informed that I believe in you, and I love you, Papa. ...a fragment of the shattered Elden Ring. If the rays of grace signal the castle, then the Elden Ring beckons you. So that's... As an ally by pack, I pray that you are fit to face the challenge presented by the ring. So that's like my goal is to collect all the pieces of the Elden Ring. Mm -hmm. Then. Shall I turn your wounds? Let my hand rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them with me. Your thoughts. So vigor is health. Mind is foot. Endurance is stamina and max equip load. Thank God that they've fucking on one stat. Jesus Christ. Remember Dark Souls 2? Uh, strength is all of the damage my armaments that rely on strength can do. Dex is all the damage that my armaments that rely on dex can do. Uh, strength is also a bit of defense power. And so is dex. Intelligence probably increases the damage of... Uh, Oh, they all increase my defense. That's really clever. Uh, intelligence is probably, like, the damage that spells can do. Faith is probably the damage that, like, cleric -y spells can do. And Arcane is probably your your fancy everything else stat. Vigor is really important in the game. Typically, by the end of a playthrough, let's hear a speedrun. You should have 40 to 45. Fair enough. But discovery! Finding items better. Wow, none of these upgrade poise. <laughs> Get fucked. Ten Vigor playthrough if you're a Chad. I'm not, so... Arcane is great for status builds. Yeah, that's what I figured. It's like the, the weird extra stuff, basically. Um... I don't know what I want to build yet, but I suppose I can always respec, so... You can also get affinities later on that work with a cane. Yeah. Um, I suppose... Seeing as I'm kind of rocking... What do I need to one-hand this? 16. I'd like to do that, honestly. Respecking is possible, but it's not free. Of course. And then I'll just put one in Vigor. Why not? That's a good start, I think. 
Look, my health bar got a little longer. And now I can do this. Look at me! Look at me! Finally, I, I still want to do this because this is better, but look at me! Okay. Is this a guard counter? Is that what that is? I probably could, I could probably read it. Oh, you mean doing uh this? Oh well, fuck's sake. Doing like that? Yeah, okay. Um, all right. Um. How many do I have left? 874. Wait. Once you well, you're back. Care to buy something? Weren't I what? of my people who yet survive in these lands if the need takes you and you meet one then offer them some trade won't you my people wanderers all have long been spurned by the grace of gold which is why we cannot settle but instead are forced into this pitiful unceasing journey but thanks to that things are not so different for us now though the elden ring is shattered i think this makes us Kindred spirits of sorts, your people, the tarnished, and mine. Okay. Hmm. Cracked pot item. Oh, like fire bombs, but I can actually make. Uh, I can choose what I put in them. Is that what I'm reading? Like, is that what a cracked pot is? Like, I'm basically buying the empty bottle to make my own Molotov cocktails, but I can make them any flavor of Molotov I want. Yeah, I know, I, I figured that much, but is that what I'm- is that what I'm reading this as? Is that what that is? Okay. I'll grab this, and I'll grab one of those. Goodbye. Because that seems like fun. Um, do I have to do anything? Yeah, so it takes a cracked pot. Uh, do I have to do anything to use that, uh... To use that cookbook item? Or is it just good now that I've got it? It's just a thing. No, nope. okay. What's the difference? <laughs> I literally can't even, like, tell the difference in, like, the... I don't know. The feathers at distance. Okay, there we go.
All right. I <laughs> This game is great. I'm terrible at it, but this game is great. That's rude that you can see me. See that coming from a mile away. Uh-oh. Yep, that's fair. killed me. Uh, okay, he killed me. <sighs> Alright, so going in through the front gate is starting to not seem very viable, yeah? Who would have thunk that going through the front gate of a heavily guarded castle was a really bad idea? Why would I run past them? That's not Dark Souls. Well then again, I guess... Horse, right? 
This game isn't named Dark Souls now, is it? Alright. Don't like that. Go read the golden sea description. It's the thing that gives me more flasks, right? Ow. Yeah, never mind then. Yeah, no, I... You could, like... At a campfire, press the increase your flask capacity button, and it's like, use a golden seed to increase your flask capacity? Yes or no? So it's like, I already knew that, like, that's what you used. Are they...? Well, I guess they're dead. Ah! It's so goofy! Big Bubbles, hello! It's so goofy! Oh, it's not fucking dead. Okay, well, I, that's just me being dumb. And any tips helps or weapons? Nope. Disrespect. Fire. Another one of these motherfuckers. Let's see if I can sneak. Oh, hell yeah. Big sword up your butt. They always come in pairs. <laughs> Fucking calculated. That felt really good.
There's a house here. Oh, and there's a grace spot here. Long weapons are so damn good with counters. Yeah. Well, hello there. Nice Zweihander. Not seen you before. Name's Bernard. Tarnished, just like you. Let me ask you something. Are you here in the lands between to take up the fight? Does your faith in the guidance of Grace hold firm, despite the collapse of the Golden Order? Uh. There's like a hundred Graces there everywhere. Fair enough. Uh This sounds like a covenant. He sounds like he leads a covenant. This sounds like this sounds like the the a covenant. Am I right? This is the 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 golden sun boy, but like but like Elden Ring, praise the tree. Well, not really, but kind of. Yes, you're a tarnished through and through. Takes me back. But that's a quality needed now more than ever. Any interest in bearing the torch of my battle arts? All I know is the sword. Picked up a fair few tricks in my time, too. Now's the time to pass them on. To a good and proper tarnished like you. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, question. So it says that this Ash of War grants an armament the heavy affinity. And I have another one that grants the quality affinity. Can I mix and match the affinity and the Ash of- and the skill that I put on a weapon? Like, could I put, like, Warcry but make the weapon quality? Or if I put Warcry on, do I have to- do I have to pick between either heavy or standard? Oh, and there's none. No skill is actually a good affinity for some dual wield setups. Yeah, I imagine. Because you want to, like, make a certain weapon skill be the one that you use and not the other one. But you want the weapon... The, you want a weapon for its stats, I assume. Or some... Like, I can totally imagine that. Yeah. My assumption is I can't actually get onto this because it's, like, higher up. Like, that's how the map is reading to me. So if I wanted to get up there to look around, I'd probably have to go in here first. And, like, go up there. This one isn't pointing anywhere. Uh, 
Um, I might as well sit and rest to get my shit back. Yeah, this is a building there as well that I could look at. I know. And there's a bridge here. Finger reader crone. So yeah, no, I recognize that there's stuff to do out there as well. Yeah, you think I should go to the crone? Oh god, really? Now? Think I go think I should go say hi to the old lady, an old crone. You wanna at least a new area to explore and get murdered in. So when I'm in a different area, do I no longer have this map, I'll have the new area map? Or will they conjoin? Like will they be a, a bigger map? I apologize. We have a lawn, a, a guy mowing the lawn. That's what that was. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have a look. I'm interested. Oh boy, here he comes again. I apologize. There's nothing I can do about it. way. Have I left a message yet? Nope. Holy poly sheep! Can't get away from me. Wait. Oh, okay. There we go. No, my horse! How dare you! I know the horse is fine. Yeah, like it's infinite health, bitch. Uh, I want to go this way. Ripples. 
She's got a stanky leg. She's got a stanky leg. Okay. You, you. So something tells me I ain't going anywhere. It's worse. <laughs> oh, but they like leave a little light. Yeah, something tells me I ain't going over here yet. Actually, can I? Am I like seeing this correctly, Asil? Is this like a path? Like, well, you know what? We're fucking, let's just try, right? What's the worst that can happen? I die. It's how you learn. What's the <laughs> You realize eight balls are yes or no questions. Oh, two for one. That was a lot of damage. Oh yeah, no, I'm on the other side now. Huh. 
And here's a grace for me. Interesting. Is this one pointing to this one? Or is this one pointing to something in here, but this one is pointing to a completely different thing up here? Because I was under the impression my first big boss was going to be in this keep somewhere. Was the Godwin fucking fellow. Pointing to different things, they just so happen to be pointing in the same direction. Yeah. Where is the. Spyro! <laughs> the eight ball answers yes or no questions. <laughs> is this just a childhood memory that I only have and no one else has? Did no one else have the little fucking eight ball thing that, like, he. It's like a, a 20 sided dice? Uh, and it was like floating in that dark blue liquid and it was in like a, a ball that had like a little window in it so you shake it up and you like ask a question and then it fucking did no one else have that? <sighs> what weapon will Aretha made? very doubtful SMH Aretha. The blue liquid taste. Don't drink the liquid! Stop for drinking! This game is great. <sighs> Get up there. Well... I'm going to call it for tonight, but I'm definitely going to be playing this game more on the days where Tyler is not available for us to play Lethal Company with. Um, I haven't done a proper outro in forever, but because we have new people here, I might as well. If you like what you saw, be sure to follow, and if you want to be notified of when I go live, type exclamation point Discord in the chat to get a link to the Discord channel, because I post there every single time I stream. Uh, also, if you enjoyed and you want to support me uh, more substantially, Feel free to subscribe or donate to my Ko-Fi link, uh, which I believe is exclamation point something. Maybe Ko-Fi? Ah! Maybe it's donate? Maybe tip? I know my own commands. There it is! Yeah. Uh... Thank you for hanging around. Bye.